<laughs> the UK is going back into another lockdown. This is by far the nicest place and the nicest morning I've had so far in the car. So guys, sadly, with the news from Boris Johnson the other day, the UK is going back into another lockdown on the 5th of November, which only leaves me with a few days to get out while I can. So I'll take you guys on another car camping adventure and it's gonna be good for me because I've literally spent the last couple of weeks cooped up in the city. <laughs> Right, so I've just pulled over to get myself a Burger King. Is it me or are these fast food places just getting so much more expensive? Eight pounds or 7.99 to be precise for a regular meal, not even a large one. Oh yeah, look at that absolute goodness. Mm. Oh man, the sky was on fire. I had to jump out in the middle of the motorway, not jump out, there is parking on the side, and get the drone up and show you. Anyway, we're about 35 minutes from Heng, I cannot say this word, Hengistabury Head, but I think I'm actually gonna arrive there in the dark because the sun has pretty much gone down and I still need to go and buy some food to cook tonight. Anyway, we'll push on for the last half an hour and then I'll show you where we end up staying for the night. Okay guys, so after probably around three and a half, four hours of driving, I finally found somewhere to stay for the night. I did go to that Hengistbury Head, excuse the pronunciation once again, however there wasn't really anywhere where I could kind of park up for the night that was hidden away, so I've uh, got this app called Park for Night, I found a place uh, using the app and uh, apparently it's a shipyard. There's one other camper van here. You cannot even see but obviously there's my car And then the ocean is where I'm pointing the camera now. There's a few other cars just there But it's so dark at the moment. It gets dark at about five o'clock, which is so annoying. I Really hope the bed doesn't catch a light. I think I'm definitely gonna need to get some sort of fireproof sheet because if this does set a light, I have nothing to stop the fire going up. Right, just drain the pasta. I'm gonna chuck in some oil, half a jar of green pasta. Very, very simple. Right. We're in. What you guys don't know is something I didn't know, that my front seat actually swivels round. Oh, look at that. Here we have tortellini avec pesto avec fromage. Another night in the camper, not a camper, in the car, changed it to a single bed. So I've got a proper mattress. So it should be nice and comfortable tonight. There's no noise around. Apart from I just heard a few weird birds and stuff. So it'll be interesting to see where I've actually parked up for the night. <laughs> this is absolutely brilliant. I've now managed to get the Man City Champions League game on. This is what dreams are made of, honestly, for me. Sat in my van or in my car in the middle of nowhere, pitch black outside, cook some dinner, now I can watch the football. <laughs> this kind of stuff just puts a smile on my face. Morning guys. Everything is completely fogged up and condensated. All the windows. Had a pretty good night's sleep to be honest. Look at the front screen. It's about eight o'clock now. So people are just starting to wake up. 
Oh, I tell you what, the temperature really did drop a lot last night. Even right now, it's one degrees. So thankfully, having this sleeping bag made a huge, huge difference because I was literally underneath it the entire night, literally like this. So I haven't quite managed to get out of bed yet because it's too cold. <laughs> Wow, all I can say is I did not expect this view when I woke up this morning. Tell you what, what a place to wake up to. This is by far the nicest place and the nicest morning I've had so far in the car. I'm down by pool in the south of England. I'm gonna explore a few other places today, but honestly, what a night, what a morning. I didn't expect this view when I woke up or parked last night in pitch black. And they've even got portaloos over there, which is fantastic. So I'm gonna cook up a nice omelet and then go for a walk along the beach. Those of you that don't know, oh my god, it's getting very sludgy here. I'm uh, I'm right down in the south of England, in a place called Pool, uh, in Dorset. Never been here before. Came down to Dorset on my first trip in the car about oh, what's that? A month and a half, two months ago. And I just wanted to come back down while the weather was good, test out the uh, the new layout of it, and see more of uh, of the UK before we go into another lockdown because I don't know how much moving around or travel I'll be able to do once we go into lockdown on Thursday. So take each day as it comes and make the most of it while I still can. I have no idea why the alarm goes off pretty much every time. <laughs> when I'd pictured van life, this is the kind of days and the things that I expected and wanted from this. From having a car, driving anywhere, parking up somewhere quite serene and quiet with not too many people around, then waking up, enjoying the peace and quiet, and then cooking some nice breakfast and going on, you know, some walks and doing things like this. So, so far, so good. I'm on a ferry, <laughs> literally about, oh, you can't even see, but that is about a hundred yards away. But this saves me about half an hour rather than going around the entire coast to get to that old Harry's Rock. So I haven't even bought a ticket. I have no idea, literally just drove straight on and we'll see what happens. Oh God, my window doesn't go down. So this is gonna be awkward. They're gonna think, what are you doing? Sorry, my window's broken. <laughs> Woo, baby! Let's go to Old Harry's Rocks for sunset. I feel like I'm in a different country. Even the landscape looks different. <laughs> oh man, what a day. 
so lucky with the weather that orangey yellow sunset glow is just starting to come out so maybe fortunately I've timed this perfectly please Sam give me 10 more minutes of this orange purpley hazel sky ah, please I just missed the last orange glow there's still a bit of light but it's still gonna look incredible I think let's have a look What a place. Old Harry's Rock, highly, highly recommend. I just got here just in time before the sun, before the sun, before the sun started to set. Thank God, because uh, otherwise, yeah, it's gonna be dark in about 20 minutes probably, but absolutely incredible. Hopefully those drone shots did it justice. I really do think that England probably has some of the nicest and most amazing landscape or coastline, sorry, that I've ever seen. Because coast-wise, you can't beat it. Just those white cliffs, the blue turquoise water, especially when the sun sets, it looks absolutely incredible. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the car. Hopefully, I'll make it back just before it gets dark. Right guys, I decided to drive back and stay for another night at the same place where I stayed last night, just because it's safe, secure, there's other camper vans, so I think I'll get a better sleep instead of just being parked up on the side of the road. And I still want to spend another day exploring. So I hope you guys have enjoyed yet another little camper van adventure with me. Things will be difficult now as we're going into a lockdown tomorrow here in the UK, so I'll have to see how much travel I can do. If you do enjoy these types of videos, then please make sure to hit that subscribe button and also keep an eye out for future videos in the van and just future general travel videos. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna cook up some dinner and then head off to bed and edit the video that you're gonna watch right now. As always guys, stay safe, stay positive, especially during these uh, uncertain times which are now being prolonged and we have no idea how long they're gonna go on for. Catch you guys in the next video. Peace.